No undefeated teams left going into Week 7 now, another pick starting with Jaguars and Saints. The Jaguars played pretty good against the Colts. Their defense had four forced turnovers, and Trevor Lawrence didn't play that bad. Two touchdowns and an interception, it's just a pretty good game for them. The Colts played pretty good, two touchdowns and an interception for C.D.S. Stroud. Their defense forced a turnover and had two sacks. I think the Jaguars are going to win 18-15. to Alright, Raiders and Bears. Justin Fields didn't play the entire game. I mean, he might not play this game either. Their defense wasn't horrible, but not incredible. Jimmy Garoppolo threw a touchdown and an interception, which is his eighth through six games. And their defense had a turnover and four sacks. I think the Raiders are going to win, though, 21-10. Browns and Colts. The Browns, um, that was a big upset against the 49ers. I forget what I said about an easy win for them last week. Um, they had three sacks and got an interception on defense. P.J. Walker threw two interceptions, but the 49ers defense is just really good. Um, the Colts and Gardner Minshew, he threw three interceptions and a, and a touchdown. It wasn't a great game. Took three sacks and had three sacks on defense. I think the Browns are going to win 24-10. The Bills and Patriots. The Bills um, somehow almost lost to the Giants, which would have been uh, who have been some of the wor one of the worst teams so far. Josh Allen, 169 yards, two touchdowns and an interception. Other than that, they really had no offensive production. The Patriots are arguably worse than the Giants. Um, they've had nothing so far on offense or defense. It's been really bad. I think 31-15, the Bills win. Commanders and Giants. I've mentioned the Giants. I don't really need to explain. It's the same boat as the Patriots. They have had no offense or defensive uh, production. Washington needed that win. They forced three interceptions and had three touchdowns from Sam Howell. He was sacked five times, but other than that, it was a good game, and I think they're going to win 29-20. Falcons and Bucks. That's been better through three interceptions. Just wanted a good game overall. The run game was also non-existent, and the Bucks didn't play any better. Um, they allowed the Lions just to dominate that whole game. And, you know, their run game was also non-existent. I think the Falcons are going to win, however, 20-13. to Lions and Ravens. The Lions played pretty good against the Bucks. Two touchdowns from Jared Goff and an interception from Mayfield. Uh, the Ravens played in London. It wasn't bad. A touchdown and an interception. 239 yards. Pretty average for, um, for them. Their defense was pretty good. Six sacks and two forced turnovers. I think the Lions win 30 to 23. Steelers and Rams. Steelers had their bye week last week, but before the uh, the week before that, they played a hard fought game against the Ravens. Their defense was good. Three turnovers, four sacks. Their offense had no production until the end. Pretty typical Steelers. The Rams played good. Two turnovers and two uh, sacks on the defense. Matthew Stafford played good. 236 yards and a touchdown. The running game was. Really good, 178 yards, which is pretty good. I think the Rams are going to win 31-20. Packers and Broncos. The Broncos played yet another bad game. Two interceptions and a touchdown. 95 yards for Russell Wilson. Their defense had two sacks and a turnover, but it just wasn't good overall. The Packers had their bye week last week, but in the week prior, um, three interceptions for Jordan Love and 189 yards. Both of them played bad in their last games, but the Broncos are just way worse than the Packers. Um, I think the Packers are going to win 24-15. Chargers and Chiefs. Chiefs just didn't play a good game either. But, um, you know, touchdown from uh, Patrick Mahomes, an interception, 306 yards. The defense had four sacks and three turnovers, but they couldn't capitalize on any of the turnovers, which was good, but not good enough. Uh, the Chargers played good against the Cowboys until the end. Two touchdowns and an interception for Justin Herbert, which isn't horrible. 235 uh, yards for him as well. Uh, the defense recovered that muff punt, which was their only turnover, but you know, this wasn't a great game. I think. Chiefs are going to win, though, because they're just the better team, 34-25. Dolphins and Eagles. The Eagles had their first loss um, the season with three interceptions, almost four for Jalen Hurts. No offensive production in the second half. Their defense kind of just, like, collapsed at the very end. Their defense was good, five sacks, no turnovers. Um, the Dolphins played the Panthers, so they were going to win, but um, four sacks, no turnovers, three passing touchdowns from Tua. The run game has been really good so far, 100, over 150 yards. I do think they could win. It's a toss-up. Right now, I think the Eagles are going to win 34-30. And lastly, we have 49ers and Vikings. The Vikings played an okay game against the Browns, but suffered their first loss against, um, yeah, against the Browns. Interception and a touchdown. The defense had two sacks, two turnovers. Kirk Cousins, 181 yards and a touchdown. Five sacks and three turnovers for the defense, but the 49ers are probably fine. I think they're going to win this one 30-13. I mean, that's all for Week 7. I'll be back in Week 8.